I have fished the ASR, the Atlantic Salmon Reserve, for 20 years now. The Kalovka, Litsa and Rinda on the Kola Peninsula is my salmon heaven. This is where I first of all like to go, especially in June. The fish are big, the fishing technical, with the most amazing pools you can imagine. I fish those rivers more than 40 weeks now. I know the best slice and how to fish them. I almost feel the staff are like family. Volodya, Kola, Alex, Dima and Anton in the kitchen. They're all great friends. Also Justin and the Russian owner Vladimir Rabolchenko I'm proud to call great friends. to recover. You see this is now coming back. In the warm water you need to maybe hold the fish as long as you play it. On this 5 Celsius here they recover fast. They don't get so uh, so tired. And always on catch and release you should be, be sure to, to fish with a strong tackle. I'm on 40 pound liter. I just can bring them in fast. And that's also very, very important when it comes to releasing. And now this fish wants to go. And we're gonna let it go back and spawn. We say thank you for a nice third fish job today on the Patagorra. That's a good fish. See the tail?
big the fish is, it's possible I have a little carp net and I'll slide the fish in here and uh, as long as it's wet and you do it careful get your fish in the bag and I had and I just do my little salter and then you have to be strong and it says 12 and a half kilos Which is about 25 pounds, take away the net. Always handle the fish on the water. It'll be okay. Head against the current. The bottom sections of the Kalovka is tidal up to Julian's. Island Pool is fantastic and Julian's the first resting place. Julian's always holds fish and are fantastic to fish from both sides. Rock Pool is a big fish place. The lower river is wide and fairly flat up to the long rapids above Barrow Pool. On lower water all the pockets up to home pool can hold a good fish. I have called Kalovka home pool the best home pool in the world. It's truly an amazing place that's given me so many great fish. Then comes amphitheater and washing machine. Fast water over big boulders with many great lies. The tail of golden pool is amazing. It's fast and pretty shallow and a great rest resting place. Lower Canyon is next, also a big fish pool that fish best on fairly low water. Upper Canyon is then one of my favorites, again a tale to dream for. Then comes Geese Pool, the perfect salmon pool, where the fly will fish perfect no matter what you do. Here I've been running down these rapids after great fish so many times. Falls is where many fish rest long time. It's a special place that needs to be fished carefully with special techniques, either with a very heavy line or on top with a skated fly. When summer comes, fish start jumping the falls to reach the upper parts and all the spawning grounds above. Tail of geese. This fish took right on the lip. And I've been running down here before. Not that I don't, I don't mind, but I also want to get the fish. Not maybe the Best odds. It's not super big, maybe 16, 18 pounds. There we go. Still going. I, I think we can keep this here in this pool. Maybe. Here we go. Leaving.
we need our guide to call yep. at the commonette and this fish is tired. Maybe it's 20. It is 20. the most fun maybe but effective we have uh, we're still on six degrees Celsius and uh, you don't want too much water between your fly and the fish it'll come for it on six but um, I prefer another couple of degrees before I go on the surface even though it's possible to catch it dry even on the cold water, catch a fish on the dry, on the cold water too. Had one on the Litza some years back when the water temperature was three. Among the ice and snow on the dry fly, crazy. So, now we're gonna catch some fish. Cold water tactics is more or less about getting the fly close enough to the fish. The fish metabolism doesn't allow them to go a long way for a fly in cold water. The bigger fly fish deep is the most effective weapon. When water temp is under five Celsius, deep and slow is the key. But I change fast, already on nine degrees, the fish will come for the surface fly. This spring fishing is technical. To just change line to a heavy sinker doesn't do much difference. You have to fish active. You have to use your rod and line to get the fly down and fish slow in front of the fish. You have to use all your skill to get as much good drift as possible. This is the key. The right fly fish deep enough with the right speed give you more takes. It's all about creating as many meters of perfect drift as possible. The experienced spring fishermen that can handle the techniques will outfish the novice by far. Litsa is the best in the world, to me the best river to fish. The tidal part is short and we fish it very seldom. The first pool is military, one of the most exciting places I know. On a magic June morning I landed eight fish here with a biggest, my ASR best of 42 pounds. Classic is a classic tail and snowbank, a shallow holding pool with also a great tail, they always holds fish. The fast part up to tent pool has many great places. My favorite is lower tent, technical, full of big boulders with many, many good lies. Tent is again a great tail where a friend of mine caught a magnificent 40 pounder on a skated green bomber. Above spawning is the nicest part of Litza, a number of great pools where Ledge, Upper Dream and Mickey Mouse are my favorites. Secret pool is like made for skating a fly. Flatstone is where the big fish rest. 
I think they go up to falls and then back down in the deep, safe water to rest for spawning time. I love Litza Falls, what I think one of the best dry fly pools in the whole world. Also to be here early to catch the first fish of the year is one of the things that really triggers me, to open the river. Here you can't follow in June. You have to play them really, really hard on strong tackle. And even though I use that, I'm breaking off some really big fish here. Getting heavier and heavier. Always. No, but uh, I've seen it, so I know it's not the biggest thing. But I also know it's not. You see him right there? Uh, good fish. They're all good fish. This is also big, good fish. Now we've been fiddling around with the camera. on a little black green helmet. Look, it is uh, 103 centimeters, 14.2 kilos, which means uh, 31 pounds. Handling the fish with the gloves here. Trying to do it very careful. Make sure the fish can rest a bit. A big fish like this takes some time fight and you you need to be prepared to give it some time here it's all about respect for the fish we want it to go back and we want it to spawn we can't just release it and celebrate it I need to take a little bit of time with this fish now we've been sitting here maybe five minutes he's uh, I would say ready and I will just put him in a good place swim away nicely. Perfect. Very good. 
Thank you, Cora. Welcome, Mike. Best guide in the whole Thank world. You. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Super. If I have to choose to fish only one river in the world, it needs to be the Eastern Litza. It's a small, fast river with big fish, very technical and extremely demanding. To hook and play and land a 30 pounder on the Eastern Litza is for me what salmon fishing is all about. A great thrill, the biggest challenge with a broad backed silvery reward. My biggest fish so far from the ESR was a 118 centimeter, 42 pound sea lice, perfect male from the military pool on the Litzel. The most beautiful of all my 40 pounders.